welcome back. My name is Kathy. If you're seeing my face for the first time, welcome to my channel. Today you're seeing here already a lot of stuff on the table because I'm going to bake cookies today and not just ordinary cookies, I'm going to bake pumpkin cookies. I saw the recipe online, I'm going to put the recipe link in the description box below so if you want to make them yourself, you can do that also. And you notice it's the theme, of course, it's fall, so that's why we're making pumpkin cookies today. This is like a bake with me while answering your questions. So if you want to see that, keep on watching and don't forget to hit that bell button so you get notified when I post new videos. Let's just jump right into the video. Okay, so uh, let's start. So first we're just going to combine the dry ingredients, that is the basic always of baking so I have this but I know this is not like a bowl that you usually use to put you know to put dry ingredients in but I don't have a lot of bowls so I'm just improvising so I'm using this as it is so let's combine flour baking soda baking powder cinnamon nutmeg and salt in a medium bowl so we need two and a half cups so here I have these measuring cups this is one cup so I'm gonna do two of them So just combine it, this is very easy, just combine all the ingredients. Do you guys love baking? I love baking like a lot. I love to make cheesecake especially. Okay, so we have that combined and I'm going to grab my cake mixer. I love this baby. I bought this for my 24th birthday. So the next step is to beat wet ingredients, so the granulated sugar, the butter, put a mixer on medium high speed, and then in the pumpkin. Oh yeah, guys, just want to give a quick shout out to Chin Toko, because I couldn't find this anywhere, and they were one of the stores that has it. I ordered it online, so if you want to bake these cookies, or if you don't want to make the pumpkin puree yourself, Chin Toko is the place. So before I'm gonna clean it, because I just put the butter out and the butter needs to be softened, I'm gonna put it, this is a hack, if you forgot to put the butter out before you started baking. A hack is to put it in a microwave for 20 seconds max, so it gets a little bit more softer, and then you can just plug it in here. So that is just a hack. So I'm gonna do that. So now we're going to combine Beat the granulated sugar and the butter with mixer on medium high speed. So I'm gonna put the one and a half cup of sugar. No. That is good. Now we're going to blend in the pumpkin, the egg, and the vanilla until incorporated. <laughs> okay, so one cup. to add the dry ingredients little by little so gradually the dough has been resting for almost two hours so I think that is enough so let's make the cookies and also I'm going to answer some questions the first question, when is it not too early to start listening to Christmas songs? I think it's never not too early to listen to Christmas songs. But if I'm being totally honest, okay, October, I think, is a perfect time to start listening to Christmas songs. Although I'm kind of guilty that I listen to a Christmas song in July. Next question, what are you doing these days post-graduation? Okay, so what I'm doing right now is, so a lot of people, if you watch my video or if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I graduated, I'm a recent graduate and I've been taking dance classes and I've also been taking tennis classes and also I'm working on my Instagram, I had some really awesome collabs if you follow me on Instagram 
you know so check that out and also I've also been working on my YouTube channel and I'm trying to upload every week I'm just taking it easy just taking it slow and hopefully for next year I will have a job so I'm gonna roll this up so I'm gonna speed this process my first batch done so I'm going to pop this in the oven and then I'm going to answer some questions first I'm going to wash my hands look at that so while the cookies are in the oven let's answer some questions okay so the next question is what's your favorite thing about fall hmm that is a difficult question because I just really like the colors I love when the leaves are turning different colors like they're turning uh, red yellow orange it just like I don't know I just feel like all giddy giddy inside you know like um, and also really like all the pumpkin recipes that come along so the pumpkin spice lattes and stuff and just like the you know the, the vibe of it I just like the aesthetic of it really like that and also the fashion this is not really a question but what I don't like about fall here in the Netherlands is the rain again we can get really really bad weather during fall and I really don't like that at all What's your fave song at the moment? Ooh, this is also a difficult question, but I think my fave song at the moment, because I've been listening to this like every day, I've been listening actually to a few songs every day on repeat, and that is, let me just grab my Spotify real quickly, that is Dear No One by Tori Kelly. I discovered this song this week, no, uh, last week, and I loved it so much, and it's so relatable. So, Another also song that I've been listening to a lot is Rewrite the Stars from Zac Efron and Zendaya that is from The Greatest Showman. I've never seen The Greatest Showman, I know, I still want to see it, but I just discovered this song and I love it so much, so that's what I've been li listening to. Also Little Do You Know by Alex and Sierra and of course some Taylor Swift like her new album. What's your favorite movie? Oh, my favorite movie I think has to be The House at the End of the Street. Another movie that, of, that I also really like to watch is Narnia. I cannot forget also Taken. I love Taken so much. Would you bake a carrot cake? Huh, yeah, why not? What's the scariest thing that ever happened to you? Ooh, this is a good question. One thing that really scare, scary happened that was in Curacao is when the lightning, it was not, of course, because I would have been, been dead, but it was like, you know, when the when lighting strikes there's also a lot of other millions tiny lights of the lighting so that one one of those hit my phone <laughs> how that it happened i was filming outside i didn't notice was that the thunderstorm was that close so um lesson learned i'm not going to film outside anymore when there, when there's thunderstorms there's also another one that one time my friends and i we went to a party and after that there was a guy following us after we wouldn't stay away we walked all the way to where we we're staying i think it was a 20 30 minute walk he followed us all the way to our hotel and it was really creepy and really scary how's your love life non-existent <laughs> they ask you how you are you just have to say that you're fine what are your dreams i'm still figuring out what i really want how come did your parents choose the name Catherine? It's like a royal name. Okay, this is a funny answer and this is a nice question. Okay, so indeed, I'm from Curacao and I have a English name. It's, um, I'm called Catherine. You also pronounce it in, a, in the English way, so Catherine. My mother told me that my dad had a celebrity crush on a French actress whose name is Catherine. So he liked that name so much. Next question, any favorite autumn drink? Uh, the pumpkin spice latte, favorite Halloween sweet? Ooh, I love candy corn. Any Halloween traditions? Okay, so my Halloween traditions have died down because since I've moved here to the Netherlands, but in Curacao, we don't do also a lot of Halloween -y stuff, but there was a few times that we went trick-or-treating. One tradition we always did, my sister and I, we always went dressed up to school when it's Halloween like not not overly dressed up but we wore some bunny ears or some cat ears for 
Halloween traditions here in the Netherlands. We went to a Halloween party, but that was also two times, so we don't do actually a lot for Halloween. What is your favorite Christmas film? Oh, this is a good question. I really like the classics. I don't know if you've watched Cartoon Networks or Nickelodeon, but I always have like Christmas specials. I really uh, used to love to watch those. And my favorite Christmas film, I would say, is probably a really classic one that is Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. There was also a really nice one that last year I watched, The Christmas Prince on Netflix. What is your favorite fall clothing item? Ooh, this is a difficult question, but such a good question. Okay, so my favorite fall clothing item, hmm, turtlenecks and tights. I really like tights with different like patterns on them like you have one with uh, hearts one with polka dots okay so those were all the questions so i'm gonna see how many minutes left for the cookies to finish and i'm going to do of course the rest because we have here a lot of dough still okay the first batch is out of the oven and wow guys they look so good they smell delicious also. I have to, of course, let them cool down. But guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna make the rest. I'm not going to film this because it's gonna be repetitive because I'm just going to do the same. Subscribe if you want to see more of my face. And also, can you get this video to 10 likes? And let me know in the comments below if you would bake this cookie also or if you would try out this cookie, let me know. And thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next video. Bye guys.